fastest way to slice my my um, onions. I use it for yep. onions all the time, but I use it for every prep in the kitchen, which is what well, this is. It's a mandolin. Um, it comes with, it's easy to use. It comes with the knuckle guard. Right. And for $29.99, that's the price break. I say get it. Hey, listen, you know, most people slice and dice with a knife, mm -hmm. all right? And it takes forever. Cooking doesn't take the time in the kitchen. It's the prep that takes all the time. Mm -hmm. And you just saw me slice a, a potato, a whole yeah. potato, perfect, uniform slices. Every slice is exactly the same. So it's not like a knife where you get, maybe it's one thick slice and then one thin slice, sometimes a finger slice. <laughs> Every slice that you get with a mandolin, because of the, of the design, comes out perfect. And it takes it right down to the end because of the safety holder, okay? Mm -hmm. This, it has four little prongs inside here they hold on to the food and a free-flowing plunger button on top now what that oh by the way that that uh, top mm -hmm. also doubles as a citrus juicer yeah so you can make orange juice lemon juice lime juice mm -hmm. and uh, speaking of limes we got Cinco de Mayo coming up tomorrow yeah you're gonna love it on a guacamole here I just adjusted the machine okay so you can go from a thick slice there's eight different slicing thicknesses all you do is Turn the knob on the side. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different settings, okay? From thick to thin is anywhere in between. I'm gonna put this on a medium slice because it comes out perfect, whether it's a lemon, lime, orange, a grapefruit. And you never have to worry about your fingers, nails, or knuckles because that safety holder holds onto the food for you. Mm -hmm. Now, I gotta show you this though, because what you were mentioning earlier, you like it for onions. Mm -hmm. And most people, you know, you shed tears over onions, right? <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice when you're trying to slice onions thin with a knife, uh, that the more you cry, the thicker the slices end up? Because <laughs> yes. you wanna get the job done quick? Well, with this machine, every slice comes out perfect and uniform. Perfect for scalloped potatoes, maybe it's perfect for, uh, you know, liver and onions, potatoes and onions, mm -hmm. uh, cucumber and onion salad. And speaking of cucumbers, if you do any pickling at all, you're gonna love the way the machine slices paper thin, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, you, different angles, you can run them through differently. Like if you wanted to make sandwich pickles and you want them a little bit thick, you can lay it down on top like this and slide it through and now you're making your sandwich pickles Okay, yeah. the kind that you can buy in the in the jar in the store. Yeah, and again never any waste But I want you to see this every slice comes out perfect and exactly like the last every Okay, one. yeah, and and you know we're mandolins and again This is made in Germany mm -hmm. razor sharp German stainless steel blade mm -hmm. but mandolins were originally developed in Germany as a cabbage board for making sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. Now you can do this with iceberg lettuce on taco night. You do mm -hmm. this with cabbage for coleslaw, hot slaw, pepper slaw, chow chow. It comes out of the machine more like shredded wheat mm -hmm. <laughs> than shredded cabbage. Mm -hmm. But it's such a versatile tool too. And here's why every professional chef in the world has a mandolin in their arsenal of tools, yeah, okay? Yeah. Because it's so adjustable, so it's so versatile, instead of dragging out a heavy food processor, what I'm gonna do, I, I just took it down to about a medium or a medium thick slice. Okay. And now on this side, the knob brings the teeth up. Now mm -hmm. these little razor sharp teeth will do your julienning. Okay. It'll also do your dicing and mincing. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go to the medium sized teeth. There's, there's large, medium, and small. Okay. And look at this. Now, instead of shredding your cabbage, you mince it into little pieces for deli style coal. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of mayonnaise. Look at this. Look at I that. mean, it comes out absolutely perfect. Yeah. But where you're gonna love it is if you're still in the in the kitchen playing tic tac toe. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? You ever do this? Do this way, uh -huh. then this way, uh -huh. and then you slice. And they are. Listen, yeah. forget about it. There's no smell on your hands. Yeah. No tears in your eyes. Here's a whole onion. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Mince onions for tuna fish, chicken salad for homemade meatloaf. On taco night, you're gonna love it for homemade chilies, Look soups, and stews. And so and fast. Every, yeah, and everything comes out perfect because of the design of the machine. Now, you're, all you're choosing today is the color that you want. So you'll see that the one that John is using is the green one, but there's also a purple. There is a beautiful uh, turquoise. There's black, this is the one that I have. We also have blue, we have orange, and we have red. And I love that we have all of the colors too, because yeah. these do go fast, especially on a price break. 
And uh, like I said, I this. own it, and it just makes it so much less <laughs> trouble. Have you ever get, chopped yeah, celery you that done. fast? Yeah. <laughs> you never with a knife. And with a food processor, you get all the strings wrapped around the blades. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, watch this, because different angles will give you different cuts, too. So if I run celery through this way, now I'm making celery spears. You see, anything that grows in layers, like cabbage, celery, or onions, mm -hmm. will automatically mince, like I just minced that, ca that celery, uh, because of the way it grows. Something solid won't mince. Like if I put an apple in the machine, mm -hmm. watch this. For apple sticks, these matchstick apples, they're perfect for like a fruit salad or for yeah. topping a salad. Or if you like French fries, here, put a potato in here. Look at this. For shoestring French fries, mm -hmm. perfect. you won't be without one of these machines. I mean, it comes out perfect. Now, if you like bigger fries, all you do is turn the knob on the side, yeah. we'll put the large teeth up, and now for big french fries, big carrot sticks, big zucchini spears for a vegetable tray, all you do is brush it through, and with the handle on one end, there's rubber feet on the other end. Yeah. You can put this right over a, you know, a, a mixing bowl. Mm -hmm. You can put it over a salad bowl. Yeah. Make salad right in the bowl. And I'll tell you what though, I mean, just for chopping, Slicing, dicing, mincing, julienning. I mean, this machine does everything but the cooking. It really does. And look at how much that John has already cut. I mean, <laughs> I look at if you had to cut this just with a regular knife, and you know what, there's a place for a knife and a cutting board oh, yeah. in your, oh, in your for home, sure. for sure. Yep. But look at how much he's already done. He hasn't broken a sweat. <laughs> he's not like tired it's and so complaining. Yeah. You know what, it, you don't spend as much time making the salad as you, you know, as maybe you've done in the past. So, so now you'll thick. probably eat more salads. There's a thick slice, okay? Perfect for, on to for topping a salad. But if you want to, watch this. I'm going to give it a, a medium slice. I'm going to move it up three notches, okay? Mm -hmm. There's a medium. Okay. And anywhere in between. Between. I'm gonna go up to a thin slice, and I'll tell you what, there is no way that you can slice a bell pepper this safe, this fast, this thin with a knife. Look I at mean, that. it comes out perfect. And like you said and before, no waste. Yeah. hey, if you have a dehydrator at home, mm -hmm. you're gonna love this for apples, bananas, kiwi fruit, lemon, lime, orange, tangerine. Look it comes every it, apple chips dehydrated. It comes at every slice. I want you to see this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold these up. Okay. Every slice is exactly the same thickness as the last. Look at so that. it's a precision tool made in Germany. Okay. Uh, again. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah. Hey, listen, as a corn season. stripper, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, summertime's here, mm -hmm. corn's growing in the fields. You can buy sweet corn in the summertime super cheap. Mm -hmm. You take it off the cob, put it in freezer bags, and have fresh sweet corn all winter at yeah. summer prices. Yeah, look, look at as a corn stripper, oh, that's a put it on idea. the thickest slice. Yeah. All you do is hold it off to the side of the machine like this, okay, and brush it through. Mm -hmm. Now, every time you brush it through, you give it a little turn. Okay. At home, put an oven mitt on your hand when you're doing this, okay? Okay. I don't have one here, but because you can't use a safety holder when you're doing this. Yeah. But as a corn stripper, look at that. Whether it's blanched corn, cooked corn, raw corn, for creaming or steaming, for boiled or buttered corn, for relish. Look at or that. Or corn chowder. Here, there's even ridges on either side of the machine. Yeah. You can even milk the cob for your cream style oh my corn. my gosh. For your succotash, for soups, for I mean, stews, for chowders. It just goes I mean, on and on. On, over 10,300 <laughs> of these have been sold. And it's because it's as easy as we show, and it's really easy yeah. to clean, too. Oh, yeah. I, I don't want you to think, oh, All gosh, you do is rinse it like bear. a knife, you're yeah. done. Yeah. I mean, and, and, then, and this is the cool part. This is all the room it takes up in your kitchen drawer. Yeah. So if you keep it in your knife drawer, mm -hmm. when you see it every day, yeah. You're going to use gonna it every day. You're going to use it. Right? And you know what and I like too is there are no there's no separate piece. Right. It's all together. You just turn one knob to make it thicker, you turn another knob if you want to have the teeth. Right. And that's it. I know it's so simple to use. And again, just for chopping onions or making french fries here, I'll make some more french fries because if you have kids at home, mm -hmm. you know, you go to one of those fast food places, a doll wait, wait it's wait, what, what, what this 4 ounce package of french fries okay. is $1.95. Okay. Wow. Okay. Or think about that though. Yeah. That's four dollars a pound for potatoes. That's expensive. <laughs> you can make them cheap at home. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and just for chopping onions with no yeah. tears, if this is all you'll use this for, I, I think yeah. it's worth. What is it? What is it? I know. Three nine, bucks a finger. For sure. I mean, <laughs> for it's sure. worth it for the chopped onions. Go ahead and choose the color <laughs> that you want in your kitchen: green, purple, turquoise, black, blue, red, or orange. And we'd love to send it on out to you.